Hey, everybody, Ann here in the tiny house having my coffee. It's been rain, 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 nothing but rain, huge rain all night long and all morning. But it's been kind of, um, there's been a couple spots where I've been able to get out and do some stuff. So, um, yeah, here, let's take a look at my swamp. Ah! Look, at, I literally live in a swamp. Yeah, it has been raining hard all night long, all day long. And it's just been super crazy, but that's good because I'm um, getting my water tank filled up again. I'm going to go take a look at it in just a minute here. Yep, the wood air came back. I am going to take quite a bit of this off today. Look at all that. Look at all of that. I'm going to eat some of it. I'll probably, I don't know, make a pot of beans and um, leave some of it on there so it'll come back. I've just put some stuff down in here after I kind of drained all that, so hopefully it'll fill up with water and I'll be able to do some dishes. And guess what? UPS delivered me two packages, so you know what time it is. UPS made a delivery. I kind of knew that they were coming because I looked on my Amazon wish list and it had said that two of the three had been ordered. These come from a different company that uses UPS, so I got them, and I am just absolutely thrilled. Okay, so let me read you this letter so you can know who it came from. Okay, here's the note. <laughs> I gotta get in the light. Enjoy your gift. Finish up the insulation. It will help in the summer as well. You better believe it will. A.K.A. Anna Hania from Anna S. Um, Anna S. Thank you, Anna, 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 Hania. I love that name. Oh, this, it just put a big smile on my face. Seriously, um, I may try and get it up today. Um, if not, it'll, it's going to be tomorrow. It's kind of dark in here, but I could probably put some lights up. Oh, no, I want to do it so bad. Thank you so very much. Um, I don't know. I may be able to get it finished. We'll just have to see. I've gone and harvested quite a bit of that uh, wood ear off the tree, and when I pulled it off, I didn't pull it all off. I just left a little nub on there so it'll grow back, and it has been growing back. So this is going to go into my pot of, well, let me show you. It's kind of like what I like to call blonde chili, garbanzo beans, and some chicken. I've got bacon bits in there, and now I'm going to pour these delicious wood ear mushrooms. That's quite a bit. Yeah. They're going to put lots of nutrition down in there, and now I need to add, hmm, spicy stuff. I added two cayenne peppers that I've chopped up in there, kind of cut up, and next, to add a little bit more heat, those are dried habanero pepper flakes, and you may think, oh, that's not enough. Yes, it is. Going to dump it in there, but that's still not going to be hot enough. Yeah, I think it needs some jalapeno peppers. Those are dehydrated. Duh. Just a smidgen of dehydrated carrots. And you know what? I think that's going to be it for now. I'm going to let it kick for a little bit and see what it tastes like. If it needs more stuff, then I'll add more stuff. Doesn't that look pretty? Oh, I almost forgot. It definitely needs some cumin. Just a few shakes. And some turmeric. Just a few shakes. I think that'll do it. Are you happy now, Junior? Everything is calm. See? He just, he's like in my lap, draped over me. Boy, these dogs are getting big. What, you giving me the stink eye, boy? Hmm? What's that? <laughs> Look at that dog. I made some more emergency candles today. All I did, just shortening, put it down in there, put all of these in a little... Um, in a pot with a little bit of water, kind of like a double boiler sort of a thing. Put some wicks down in them. Um, that, that is an old Vienna sausage can. That's that other jar I used. Yes, Donna, you're right. The one that had bacon grease in it. The puppies got to it and ate every single last bit of that bacon grease out of there. I don't know what they did with the wick. But um, I'm going to let it really solidify, and I'm going to trim these wicks a little bit. But before I burn them, there's one more step that I need to do before I burn them, and I'll show you that in a little bit. And here's my little candles that I made. And sorry if you can't hear me, it's raining super hard. 
But this one I couldn't get to stay lit because I just used some yarn for the wick and uh, it just kept going out. But these other two that have actual candle wicks in them, um, I've just put a foil disc over it and, you know, I put the wick up through the bottom of it. Because what happens after the oil starts melting really well is the wick will start, you know, diverting off to the side. So this just kind of floats on top of it. I've just got it slightly smaller than, you know, the rest of it. And it'll just kind of float on it and help keep that wick up. And one thing too, once you get it going, if you press down on the foil a little bit and let a little bit of the uh, shortening oil stuff come up on top, it will burn better. You know, just kind of press it down and let some of the fluid come up. That way it will come in contact with it and it'll burn just fine. So this one, I'm going to melt that back down and put a different wick in it. Probably, I'm going to try just like a twig or a stick or something. Got another little break in the rain, so I'm out here and yeah, it looks like things have kind of gone bonkers over here, so I'm going to have to fix it, but oh, I got a whole bunch of water in here and it's not going to drain because it's the wind has blown it up and around, so I need to fix that right now. There we go. It's flowing okay now. Um, eventually I'm going to have to fix this whole configuration because in high winds it's just not staying put. But, well, this thing should be almost full, so let me go see how much I got. Yep, it is basically full. Um, yesterday it was well below this little part in the cage, and now it's all the way up to here. It might get just a little bit higher, but then after that it's just going to start spilling out the top. So, yeah, I'm full again. Let's see how this one's doing. And I just put that cover to keep the sun from getting in. Oh yeah, this is completely full. See? It's starting to come out here. So this one's full, 55 gallons. And these are full. Oh, look at my screen fell down. I gotta fix that. Yep. And then this this one is full as well. That's beautiful. And all of the buckets are full. And the buckets on the other side are full too. Hey, check this out. <laughs> They're still in tight. Can you believe it? Oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> That's just minor. Probably one of the puppies. That's all right. Look at guys. I got my river back. I got my river and my waterfalls. There's one there. Oh, this is really swollen. And I think I got another. Oh, yes, I do. Look at that pretty waterfall. Oh, I just wish it flowed like this all the time. I really, really do. But it's only after I get quite a bit of rain. I think when I start getting funky, you know, feeling the funk, I just need to remember the stuff that brought me such great joy when I first moved on to this property. And that little stream and little waterfalls. Some of you laughed at me because I was so stoked about my cute little waterfalls. But it just made me happy. I mean, running water, it's a, it's a soothing thing. So, I just need to remember that and just keep pressing along. Oh, I'm looking at my junk pile. Yeah, that needs to be pressed on a little bit. It'll get done. I'll get it removed eventually. And now for the moment of truth, my chili with black fungus and chicken. What do you think? You think it's going to be good? Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's very good. I had to add some more water to it, but these mushrooms cook up really well. And they just take on the flavor of whatever they're in. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Very hearty meal. Yep. I think it's a success. The day's winding down and it's been rainy all day long. But I did get um, some towels washed, I did get some dishes washed, and the chickens stayed up in their coops, their pens, all day long. So I won't have to worry about um, making sure they're all in their coops, because they are. Every single one of the chickens in the van coop laid an egg. Both Mama and Patsy laid eggs, and two of the Easter eggers laid eggs, so that's awesome. And I just want to thank you for all of the really wonderful comments, you know? I mean, there's a saying 
misery loves company, and I don't want anybody else to suffer from anxiety or get, like, palpitations like I do sometimes. Um, but it's good to know that there's other people out there who experience it, and they're, they're willing to talk about it, too, because uh, sometimes I kind of feel a little isolated. In fact, I isolate myself when I start feeling this way because I don't want to you know, unleash on other people. I don't want other people to have to witness me going through it. So, um, your comments have been really, really uplifting. I love you guys. I love you all so much. And thank you to the people who donated to my PayPal. As of the publishing of this video, I'm going to put their names in the little thingy at the end so you can see who they are. I really appreciate it. Oh, when I heard those little dings, <laughs> a little ding comes up on my phone. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is the only sound. The, the, it's a very distinct ding, and it's from PayPal. And so when I hear it, I just, oh, my heart skips a beat. It sure does. Anyhow, I'm tired, um, and I'm going to sleep well tonight, I'm pretty sure. It's going to get down to a little bit below freezing, so it's going to get cold. I'll be able to start a fire tomorrow morning. I haven't had to start a fire for days. Um, but I think I'm going to I think I'm going to have enough wood to last me the rest of the cold nights or mornings um, until it starts getting warmer again. So, thank you everybody. Thank you for the donations. I love you all. Um, you've uplifted me. And I'm going to keep making videos. I am. Um, all of my videos are going to be migrating over to Rumble. They've got a tool where they just do it automatically. So it's all going to be over there too. All of it. Um, and you know what? I think that's all I got to say. Yep. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.